panel is back, Brooke, Jimmy, and Dave. Uh, this is so <laughs> funny because here she is praising Nancy Pelosi and her <laughs> leadership and her speakership because Nancy Pelosi is not a threat to Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is not going to go out there and talk about Kamala Harris mm -hmm. and Elizabeth Warren mm -hmm. and Kirsten Gillibrand because they all want to be president and so does Hillary. Yeah, and a lot of Hillary's people are working for uh, Harris, so mm -hmm. it'll be interesting oh. to see if uh, we, I still expect her to try again. But I just she will. She can't. She's, she can't help herself. It's also this stuff like if anyone ever said the opposite of that, like if anyone ever said sometimes it takes a man, mm -hmm. yeah. Hillary oh. Clinton would be the first one to be all like. Why do men just constantly have to take it on the chin? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes it takes a woman. I know yeah. nothing ever happened before 1965. Men have never accomplished anything. Like we just have to. We we have to constantly hear that. Yeah. And if the opposite was said, you. Be the first one to lecture everybody. Yep. Well, God, I, she's I, I thought we weren't supposed to pin our hopes on gender traits. Yeah, I mean, that's, we weren't yeah. supposed to assume gender because when you make that big of a split yeah. and you you embrace one gender, first of all, you're assuming there's only two. But second of all, you're you're really, to Dave's point, alienating men. Yeah. Don't well, you need men to win the presidency? Well, men, yes, and you're also kind of infantilizing women in the sense that you're saying all they care about is their gender identity, mm -hmm. and it's particularly disingenuous when you realize the only thing Nancy Pelosi has gotten done is her face you know there's not a heck of a whole lot else going on maybe she some cheeks put on makeup. yeah a lot of makeup she gets her face on like you know like before you, but before you come out onto the set but uh yeah she's definitely running again because she's working the refs this yeah. is working the refs 101 and it, it's it's interesting because in a way it's very old-fashioned because you know millennial post-feminism looks very differently at these things and and looks very differently at a person's role in mm. society i hope and, yeah. and this seems very like free to be you and me marlo thomas right. betty friedan like very old school stanky feminism yeah and true feminism is about equality and equality of the sexes i just think it's, it's another example i couldn't uh, help but think is you're trying so hard to be relevant and mm -hmm. insert yourself after the State of the Union, you're not even making a comment about what Trump said. You're at some conference that nobody really knows about until you issued this, you know, public video with the logo there. It's enough. It's insulting. But I have to say, women do get things done. Oh, you. You're an example. I'm an example. And you know what I think it is? I, I've been thinking about this for some time. We have better time management skills because we're very guilty. I mean, as a working mom, when I'm at home, I'm guilty I'm not at work. When I'm at work, I'm guilty I'm, and I'm not at home. So you got to get stuff done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, yeah, it, and it's and the and driving you have to, factor. You have to be able to split up your day and right. do 15 things. Man, oh, they don't nice. care about their kids. Yeah. I mean, there's. Whatever. Which reminds me, I got a Lincoln's out in Times Square right now, tipping a desnuda. I should probably go check on him. At least he's tipping. Yeah, he's tipping. Oh, we taught him well. We what a him chivalrous well. young man. Oh, we got much more with the panel. And coming up, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez calls our Green New Deal incredible. But inconceivable is the adjective that most would use to describe it. I'll explain in my monologue and get reaction from Florida Congressman Matt Gates next.